when replacing a fuel pump, taking the time to correct the cause of the fuel pump failure is one step that makes it a service done right. Stick around for more. Sponsored by Carter. To learn more, visit www.carterengineered.com. Fuel pumps, like most other components on the vehicle, can fail simply as a matter of age. They outlive their useful service life. But oftentimes there are other causes that help to contribute to the failure. And it's important that we look for, identify, and correct them if we find any during the course of our repair. Ask yourself, was it an electrical problem that created the need for pump replacement? A digital storage oscilloscope can be used to help you identify an electrical issue. Any excess resistance in the fuel pump circuit can cause a voltage drop issue which means there's going to be less available voltage going to the fuel pump. And of course, that's going to make it harder for the fuel pump to operate. So if you see a low current indication, that could mean that such an issue exists. And you can use your voltmeter, your DVOM, to test the circuit to isolate the cause. Worn brushes and commutators and a brush type pump are not abnormal if it occurred over time. But there are factors, as I'll share in a moment, that can accelerate that wear. But the most common cause of premature fuel pump failure is fuel contamination. Now, contamination can mean water in the fuel. It can be debris that's been ingested during refueling. Or it can be rust scales coming from the tank itself or anything of that nature. While the fuel pump modules, various screens and filters will stop most of the larger debris, they can't stop it all. The debris that does make it through will accelerate the wear of the brushes and commutator strips and will also eat away at the pumps and peller. Contaminants can also lead to fuel starvation as the debris begins to restrict flow through the filters. Fuel is used to lubricate and cool the pump, and if the fuel flow is reduced, the pump will overheat. Low fuel tank levels also make it more difficult for the pump to do its job. The weight of the fuel in the tank actually helps to push fuel through the fuel pump. If the level is allowed to go too far down, well, that weight is greatly reduced and the pump has to work harder to compensate. A commonly overlooked step when replacing a fuel pump is cleaning the tank of any contaminants prior to installing the new pump. If you don't get all the contaminants out of the old tank, you're only setting up the new fuel pump for premature failure. Now, once the tank is removed, according to the OEM procedures, set it on a stable work surface. Make sure that you have a class B or C fire extinguisher handy just in case and always 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 wear your personal protection equipment when you're doing any kind of job that might expose you to risk or hazard now as far as cleaning the tank goes here's the process that our sponsor carter recommends once removed clean the area around the pump with hot soapy water Remove the fuel pump retainer using the appropriate tool and remove the fuel pump. Avoid letting any residual debris fall into the tank. Insert a hose into the tank and begin adding in a stream of clean and preferably hot water. 
while the water is being added, spray a mild detergent into the tank. Now it's not necessary to completely fill the tank with this soapy water solution. About a gallon of the mix is more than sufficient for most tanks. If the opening allows, use a brush to loosen debris from the sides of the tank. Stop the water and swish the water around to ensure as much debris as possible has been captured. Once you feel that you've gotten the tank as clean as you can get it, take it over to a safe spot and drain as much of the fluid as you can into a clean container and dispose of as you would any other hazardous waste. Dry the fuel tank completely with compressed air. Then wipe the interior tank out with a lint-free cloth. Inspect the tank for physical damage. If any is present, the tank must be repaired or replaced. If it's a metal tank, be sure to inspect the interior for any signs of rust. And once you've gotten the tank as dry as you can with your compressed air and a lint-free cloth, allow the tank to sit for at least 30 minutes. Make sure you use a new fuel pump O-ring to seal the pump when you reinstall it in the tank. This will help avoid any unwanted EVAP diagnostic trouble codes from appearing. Reinstall the tank in the vehicle, and finally, add a can of fuel line antifreeze slash water remover to take care of any small amounts of remaining moisture that might be left. And when you return the vehicle to your customer after installing that brand new fuel pump, Make sure that you recommend that they use tier one level fuels and encourage them to maintain the tank level above one quarter full. Let them know that running the tank empty, even once, can permanently damage that new pump. And that, my friends, is another service done right. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.